going on everyone? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your additional supplemental video for lesson number seven, amplifiers. Go ahead and grab a pen and paper so we can take some notes. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and review what a preamp is and what it does. So what a preamp does is it takes an electric current from a transducer and increases its voltage uh, to a higher level. So a transducer could be anything uh, such as an audio device, such as a microphone or guitar pickup or even a stereo turntable. So the most common preamps that we're going to be talking about are the ones that are actually used in live music performances to enhance the listening experience, okay, and also in, in recording uh, instances as well. Sometimes in live music and, and also in recording music, you have an audio signal which is too weak to be caught in a recording. Uh, it needs to be brought up to something what is called line level, okay, so essentially what line level means is uh, the sound is coming through the speakers or amplifier which is loud enough to be heard through the sound system's nominal voltage output level. So a pre-amplifier will actually help boost these levels to enhance the signals coming in through an audio device such as a microphone or a guitar so that it could actually be heard. There's a few different types of preamps out there, but preamps are usually smaller standalone devices connecting to the transducer of the amplifier. A preamp could also be built into the audio equipment it's serving as well. So an amplifier, as its name suggests, actually amplifies the sound of an analog or digital signal. For example, a guitar amplifier receives an analog signal from the guitar and then reproduces that sound through the speakers. Now amplifiers are great because it usually has a series of controls for gain, distortion, equalization, volume, power, and filter. Uh, so it gives you a lot of flexibility of how that sound is actually shaped. Let's go ahead and talk about the types of amplifiers that exist. So amplifiers actually come in many types. Some amplifiers are small practice amps, which come with a built-in speaker. Some amplifiers are actually different than that and are just a head unit, which could be used with different types of speaker cabinets. And then some amplifiers are actually a part of a PA system, which requires separate outboard gear and also act as a power supply. But you guys probably already know a lot of that stuff. All right, guys, that's all the information that I have for you today. But of course, it's up to you to put this knowledge to use. Now don't forget to jump back into your Recording Connection workbook and just double check to see if you have any mandatory supplemental reading assignments to turn in for this week. Now if you feel shaky on any of this material, what you need to do is go back into your provided textbook and reread that material. Just remember that these videos are only a supplement to your education. Okay? Now if you're watching this video online and you want to know more about the recording process, uh, and you want to learn how to become a recording engineer in just six months, what you need to do is you need to check out the recordingconnection.com or call the provided number. Our staff is actually going to set you up with an engineer in your town or in a town near you. We have tons of locations all across the U.S. and parts of Canada, and we're actually really proud to say that we have more than a 72% hiring success rate thanks to our student advisor that comes with your enrollment. So hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys a little bit later.